hello guys so welcome back my name is Wukumi Bikeka so you're yeah, going to be checking out this video titled Christian confronts Muslim after claiming Jesus is Muslim so let's check it out so the the, the sign that said uh, Jesus was a Muslim yes <clears throat> for me that, that that struck me as uh, as provocative because uh, when Jesus was alive Islam had, didn't exist yet right exactly. it, was, yeah. it came about in the seventh century AD with Muhammad mm. so what do you uh, understand about the term Muslim and obviously these guys want to explain it. For me, a Muslim is so, uh, someone who, who tries to live their life by the teachings of Muhammad. Okay, right? so okay. Muslim linguistically means a person who submits their will to the will of the Creator. Mm -hmm. And this, yeah, so that's where it gets interesting because, okay. so, because a Christian might also say that I submit my will to the will of the Creator. So could you say that a Christian is a Muslim as well? Yeah. So a, a, Can you be both? So now this is a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, the, so for example, the disciples of Jesus Christ, or the followers of Moses, peace upon him, yeah. okay, who followed Moses his lifetime, etc. They were Muslims. Why? <laughs> because they were living the life according to the revelation which is given to their prophet, who was submitting his will to the will of the father, oh, will of the Creator. I mean, Christians are calling the Father, etc. Yeah. Okay. So, a person who submits the will to the will of God is called a Muslim. Okay. So, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Noah. All of these messengers and prophets were Muslims by that definition. Okay. So linguistically, it means so. The, uh, what some may think is a Muslim is a person who follows the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, or a Muslim is a person who is maybe from the Arabian Peninsula, for example. You know, some, yeah. of course, well, some that's, may that's, some may assume that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But this is incorrect. Muslim is the one who submits their will to the will of the Creator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why Jesus Christ, he is a Muslim okay. according to us, and we believe in him. We believe in his miraculous birth. We believe in the miracles he carried out by the permission of God. Okay. All of these things, all the miracles he did, by well, whose permission? So yeah, so it's like, and, 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 and you would put all the Abrahamic prophets in that tradition. Absolutely. Like, uh, Abraham. But it's, the question is... Moses. No, the, exactly. The, the question is, what, where are you deriving your knowledge on who these people were and what they revealed? The, what, what is your source material? So Jesus Christ, um, I mean, we believe in him as a person uh, who came with a message from God uh -huh. to guide us on how to live our lives. Okay, when God creates us, do you think He just created us and left us aimlessly without any purpose? No. And do you think He uh, left us without guidance so we can't achieve that purpose which you believe we have? No, I think He did. He gave us guidance. Yeah, sure. And the messengers and prophets are the carriers of this guidance yes. from from God. Okay. So Jesus Christ is a messenger from God. This is how we believe. Right, right, right. We don't. Would you say that like uh, a very devout Christian today who submits himself to God, like I don't know Pope Francis or something, you wouldn't say that he was a Muslim? Now, for example, now. now does he view Jesus Christ as a part of God? Uh, yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. So this is where we say, okay, I have to, I have to differ with you on this point because I believe God is one, and He's indivisible. Okay. He has no parts or factions. And you think that Jesus Himself believed that? Jesus, when he, when he worshipped, who did he worship? When, Je if Jesus was God Himself, yeah, did he? Can God have another God? No. But because in the Bible Jesus says things like uh, he addresses God as Father. He says, "Father, why hast thou forsaken me?" So he, Jesus, de uh, it so sounds from the, the scriptures like Jesus thought that he was the Son of God and that he was a part of God. Exactly. Or at least that's an interpretation. So when he says, "Father, why have you forsaken me?" Yeah. Now, if he was God himself, is he calling upon himself? Number one. Mm. If he was God himself, is he calling upon himself? If he was the Son of God, then there are many other sons in the Bible. Do we take them as literal sons? No, we take them as metaphorical sons. Mm -hmm. David is, is known as the, uh, as, as the son of God in the Bible. Yeah. He's known as his firstborn. Yeah. But we don't say he's the actual son of God. Yeah. Because, why? Because we say it's a meta. Would you say that's the main difference between Islam and Christianity is the, the tripartite division versus in Islam it's the oneness? Islam is the only purely monotheistic religion on the planet. So when it comes to, in terms of what, when we use our intellect yeah. okay, and our reasoning, yeah. it's up until a point. And that point is when we establish that this revelation I'm holding in my hands is from the Creator. After that point, whatever the Creator tells us about the unseen, we submit to without, without question. Why? Because once we establish that this is, the, this is God Himself speaking, okay, yeah. then if God says, yeah, there is a heaven and hell, there is angels and jinn and all of these things which exist, demons, yeah. etc., yeah, yeah. then we accept them uh, wholeheartedly and without question. Because we, until that point, we, we, we can say, okay, I can critique the Quran and say, well, is that this, it does this deserve to be the word of God? Does it have any mistakes inside it? Does it have any contradictions inside it? Has it been preserved? Now we find these qualities with the Quran and with the Bible, because you do obviously do comparative religion. Uh, have you looked into the Bible? Have I read the Bible? 
Uh, most of it. Most yeah. of it. Yeah. Now we find, unfortunately, these these criteria for being the, the word of God are not met in the Bible. There are contradictions within the Bible. There are mistakes within the Bible. Yeah. And these point to the, author, the authorship of the Bible being human beings rather than God Himself. Because uh -huh. human beings can make mistakes. But the Old Testament was written by God though, right? Like so, uh, Genesis was written by God. Yes, yeah, so, no, so... Uh, the it Moses, or it came down through Moses, but... The Ten Commandments, so it's the preservation of these, of these, of these, uh, these manuscripts, or, the, or this uh, text rather. Okay. Now, if it was written by God, would you agree that it should be free from error? Mm. Yes. Because God Himself is all-knowing, He's yes. perfect. Yes. yes. And if you were to see errors within this, would you then question this being the Word of God? Yes. And that's what we see. Yeah. The Old Testament as, and the New Testament, it's, I mean, there's over a hundred. Numerical, I mean, it's, it's not even um, like subject to interpretation. It's literally numerical, clear cut, black and white <coughs> mistakes within it. Yeah. Yeah, have, you yeah. see, have you heard them before? Uh, yes, yeah, I, I, I'm familiar with most of them. Yeah. So, so and, 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 and for you, the Quran has, has none of those? Absolutely none. Absolutely not. Okay. If, if there was to be one, especially similar to like what we find in the Bible, then of course a Muslim would reject the Quran completely. Uh -huh. And the Quran itself, and the preservation is different as well. The Bible, we, if you look at the okay, manuscripts, number one, earliest manuscripts, okay, at best 100 years after Jesus Christ, at yeah. best, at most 300 years yeah, for yeah, some yeah, of the yeah, uh, yeah. other ones. The Quran was written in Arabic, was uh, uh, during the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, the oldest, one of the oldest manuscripts of the Quran is in Birmingham which has been carbon dated to the lifetime or close to the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and it's in Birmingham they found it in 2015 wow. as late as that wow. Wow. so not just that when they looked at the manuscript the Arabic from from I thought over a thousand years and today is identical okay. wow. so these all these evidences because you have to be evidence-based like we do with yeah. every other aspect of our lives yeah conveniently when it comes to religion we tend to disengage our minds and say well you know we can never understand Islam says no use those faculties that you have yeah and reason and find the truth and if something makes sense to you, be sincere to yourself to believe it. Well, so we don't dictate anything. It's very nice. To rather, we say question uh, and learn and, and, and reflect. Well, uh, yes, I'll, I'll have a look at this. Uh, Would you like a Quran because you've spoken so much about it? Sure, yeah, yeah of course. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think I have, a, I have an old copy in my house. But, this, is, um, this, this, this is not Shakespeare in English, it's normal English. Okay. It's, it's one of the most accurate translations of the Quran okay. in, in normal English terms, essentially. Yeah. So uh, take this away with you. You have a little index at the back here Great. where you can search for certain, t uh, certain words and, uh, uh, or certain terms and where they appear inside the Quran. Uh, so look, we are not enemies of Christians or anything like that. I know. I Rather, know. we accept Jesus Christ. All we say is, do not give him uh, a status which he himself never uh -huh. gave himself. Like, I am God. Uh -huh. He never said, like, uh, unequivocally, I am God, and by in turn, worship me. He never said that. He always worshipped the Father. He always called upon the Father. You know, if he was God, why would he call, why would he say, you know, uh, my God and your God? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why would he have his own God if he was God himself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's these logical fallacies which, which which come into that whole concept of the Trinity, which till this day I, I assure you we speak to a lot of Christians. Yeah. Till this day, and even Christians, you know yourself, yeah. can never square that circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just, no, it's true. I mean, it's it's one of the mysteries, isn't it? And yeah. a mystery is one point, but illogical is probably a more accurate <laughs> yeah. accurate term. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mystery is a convenient yeah. word to get out of it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's completely illogical, okay? Yeah. So, you know, for yeah. us, we, we work with like, we give, we've been given these minds for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's very true. Very true. Uh, I, I, I agree. I agree with that. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, it's lovely to meet you. If I've said anything uh, which has caused any offence, please yeah. forgive no, me. No, 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 it's no, not no, my, no, no. It's no, not no, my intention. No, 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 if you have any questions, yeah. uh, we're on Instagram, TikTok, all the rest of it. Okay. Uh, it's on the card on the inside. Pop okay. us a message. Okay. okay. And, uh, and we're happy to sort of follow up with you there. Great. We're here every Saturday, one to five. Okay. Yeah. Take it, take it. Oh, wow. What an interesting conversation, guys. Um, the man is just trying to um, explain things to the other guy, the Christian guy, that Jesus is not God. Yes. But it's just like, but he's the son of God. Based on the fact that when he was on the cross, he said, why has that forsaken me? That means there's a connection. Because if, you know, there's a way you, you interact with your parents as a child that's to let you know the connection especially if you are very close to one of your parents maybe for instance a girl is closer to her mom than her dad the way she will interact with her mom will be you know quite different from her dad because she will talk to her mom like you know because she, 
they are very close that's how jesus and god is like they had this connection together so that is the reason why the whole topic is always brought up about son of god son of god and the man the guy asked a question about is it he asked one question and i was like i never thought about this thing and why would this man ask this kind of question he said that is it not god that wrote genesis and that came to my mind that god genesis how i don't get it well this was an interesting conversation and you know i love the way the man was breaking everything for him for the christian guy to understand really really well beautiful beautiful to watch thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye